welcome back to study with Aditi. My name is Aditi and this channel is dedicated to revision tips and tricks along with much more to help make your schooling life a whole lot easier. Today I'll be talking about New Year's resolutions for 2019. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and also enjoyed the Boxing Day sales. Now it's time for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. The New Year is a really good time to reinvent yourself almost. And there's no better way to do it than resolutions, especially for students. If you're wondering when I'm going to go back to the How to Revise Certain Subject series, don't worry, I will do, but that'll be in the new year. I have one more video planned after this, and hopefully I'll go back to that. So let's get started. Firstly, organise yourself. Nothing can be achieved unless you organise yourself. A lot of people use bullet journals, I prefer a simple planner, but since you literally have a new year, there couldn't be a better time to start a bullet journal. I'm not necessarily saying you have to start a bullet journal, you could just use an ordinary planner. For example, I use my school planner and that just works absolutely fine for me. You have to find something that works for you and to be honest, you'll be all good to go. I also have a wall calendar, I'm not sure if you can see behind me. And on this wall calendar, I just write all the dates that I need to know, people's birthdays, anything related to me, anything I need to remember in terms of dates. So like if I'm going somewhere, like I'm going somewhere tonight, I'd put that on my wall calendar. I also put exams on there, deadlines. But anyway, I'm gonna do an entire video on this sometime in the new year. Those are just two ways of organizing yourself. But there are many more ways. Just look around and you'll find a load. Or you could use a digital calendar, for example, Google Calendar. I don't like digital calendars, but that's just me. If it works for you, then that's great. I know someone who uses a digital calendar and she prefers that so much more. And organising yourself isn't just about calendars and bullet journals. It's about how you keep all your like papers and stuff. So, for example, like a filing system, have one in place if you don't already. I have a day folder and again, I'll do another video on that in the new year. But essentially what I do is things that I need during the school day, every single day I keep in one folder, but things I don't need, for example, a topic we've just finished, I'll keep in a big folder at home. That's basically it. So have something like that. I know a lot of people do a lot of different things. But to be honest, find what suits your style and your personality. If you don't like what I do, that's absolutely fine. It honestly will make your organisation much, much better. So the second resolution I have for you is finding a balance between study and extracurriculars. This is if you do extracurricular activities. I know a lot of people don't but a lot of people do as well. A lot of people think that it adds something more to their day and they're not just studying. And I completely agree. For example, I play the clarinet and the piano. And I think while it can sometimes be a burden on me to practice, I think, to be honest, when I do practice, I enjoy it. And it's quite good in the end. But your extracurriculars don't necessarily have to be music. They could be sport, they could be drama, dance anything you like you could even do some volunteering have a job to be honest that's kind of extracurricular because it doesn't relate to school as such but then again back to the actual resolution find a balance between study and extracurriculars i think it's very important to have extracurriculars in there but don't have too many clothes because in the end you won't have time to study because everyone has 24 hours in a day and if you're spending many of those hours doing everyday things plus extracurriculars you're going to have minimal amount of time to study and that could affect your grades so what i'm saying is just try and find a balance so now the third resolution is to procrastinate less yep i said it try and procrastinate less i know this is much easier said than done but honestly if you start procrastinating less you'll find that you'll have so much more time to do whatever you like and you'll be much more focused where you could turn off your phone while studying that way you're not focused on two things at the same time if you're focused only on your study in that moment you're going to work so much more like even the other day i couldn't concentrate at home because there were too many distractions around me so when i actually went to the library i could focus so much more and i think i wouldn't have got any work done if i was at home 
so yeah that's another thing eliminate your distractions i think that would definitely definitely help try not to have anything electronic unless you really really need it because to be honest i think those are the most like time wasting things also if you're if you're like an avid reader or something try not to have your book like next to you yes reading is a good thing but if it's going to distract you from studying then maybe not in that moment so also just linking back to the previous resolution if you have decided to take on an extracurricular this year that will again limit your time for you to study and if you end up procrastinating during that study time you're not going to get anything done so that makes it even more important to stop procrastinating that relates to my fourth resolution which is to study smart and not hard someone could sit there and study for eight hours but nothing would have gone in whereas someone else could have sat there for two hours and while it's less time they would have absorbed more so as you can see like person number two would have studied smarter than person number one so you want to be person number two basically this next resolution has links to previous resolutions I've mentioned and it's to make the most of your study periods especially in sixth form because that time is not going to come again and once you've wasted it you've wasted it so that relates to procrastinating less actually getting the work done and working smart not hard because if you're working smart within your study periods you're using that time and you're not wasting it that doesn't mean you have to use every single one though if you feel tired or you just don't feel like studying try and do something light i mean you can still study but just something light so for example if i didn't feel like studying i would do i'd put in vocab onto my memorize list because that's going to help me in the end but it doesn't take that much brain power so try and assess what studying to do when this is within limitation and of course you have to be honest to yourself but if you really don't feel like studying then don't because honestly it's just going to be counterproductive just make sure you're not studying at points where it could be counterproductive now this next resolution is to do directly with your work don't be afraid to ask for help because if you don't ask for help now you're going to need it later and you might not get it later. I know a lot of people are afraid of asking for help, especially in a classroom situation with the other people around them and they're afraid to ask a question. But honestly, don't be. No one's going to remember that you asked a question. 99% of the time, no one's going to laugh at you. No one's going to say anything. A lot of people are sitting there in the same room with the same question, but they're not going to ask it. If you ask it, that makes you different and it makes you feel more confident. Also, if you ask someone to help you and they've explained it to you like five times but you still don't get it, don't worry. Ask them again. If you still don't get it, try and go to someone else and ask them to explain it to you. Just don't give up. You need to understand it. You're the one learning it and just try and get as much help as you can. The next resolution also is directly related to work and that is try and take both types of feedback whether it be positive or negative. Positive feedback is always great. It makes you feel great about yourself and it's really uplifting to hear. However, make sure you do note it because you don't want to end up falling back on something you've already achieved. However, negative feedback I know can seem horrible, but you have to learn to take it because in life, you're always going to get negative feedback whether you like it or not. And to be honest, negative feedback is just constructive criticism. You just have to learn which way to see it. The person marking your work or telling you this feedback only wants to help you further. So if you really concentrate on this negative feedback and turn it into positive feedback, then you'll only just get better and better and you'll improve and excel like crazy. Also relating to that, when you're doing new pieces of work, try and take that negative feedback into mind and also some of the positive feedback as well because again you don't want to fall back on something you've already achieved this will make your work 10 times better again you'll just improve and improve so these next two resolutions are directly related to health the eighth resolution is to eat well when you eat well your brain functions well and when your brain functions well you study well that way you get good grades so try and pick the healthier option when you can as well as your brain functioning well you'll be fit and healthy which is really good to your overall health 
The ninth resolution is to sleep more. This resolution is very important to a lot of students out there. A lot of students survive on five hours of sleep, four even, and honestly, it's really not good for your body. Even if you're not suffering the consequences now, your body will in the future and that's really not good for you. If you have a set time to sleep and a set-ish time to wake up, yeah, I know everyone wants to lie in on a Saturday, I get it. You're gonna do your body so much good because you're gonna feel so much more revitalized and energized, all of that, and you'll be ready for your day ahead. The last resolution of this video, and certainly, certainly, certainly not the least, is to invest time in yourself. And this can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. A lot of people see this as a time to do the things that they actually like. For example, it could mean reading a book, learning something new, spending more time on what you like. And I think this is really important because as a student, you don't get that much time to yourself but if you block it out and make sure you don't do anything else then then it's really going to help you and it's going to help you grow as a person really just set it any day personally i'm setting this block of time on thursday evenings because fridays i only have two lessons so that means i don't get much homework to do on thursday evenings so really i can just take the whole evening to myself and everything will be fine in terms of school so try and find a day like that for yourself if you can't then I'd recommend Friday because obviously the next day is Saturday and you won't have any homework due for the next day. To be honest, I'd recommend doing this during the week or even Sunday night. Sunday night is a good time because it really gives you the boost that you need for the week and it makes you a whole lot happier because you know that your life isn't completely revolved around school. It's also revolved around what you want to do and what you want to accomplish in life. Wow, this got a bit deep. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, most of all, took something away. If you have any other resolutions for students yourself, please comment them down below. And also comment down below which resolutions of the ones I mentioned that you are going to try. I'd really love to know. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, please do and also hit the bell icon while you're at it this video is actually part one of a little mini series i'm doing when i say mini it's very mini there's literally two videos so this video was about what actually are good new year's resolutions for students and part two which i will release next week will be how to actually keep these good resolutions so i hope to see you then thank you again for watching and goodbye yeah, 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 yeah.